Hi there children, we're going to do some art today. Can you remember what we've been doing in art over the past few weeks? We've been learning about primary colours, haven't we? We're going to have a quick recap of what we've been learning. So the primary colours are red, yellow and blue. And primary means first. So primary colours can't be made by mixing other colours together. Now, can you remember what the secondary colours are? That's what we were learning about last week. Secondary colours are the colours that are mixed together by the primary colours. Let's have a look. What does yellow and blue make? It makes green. What does red and yellow make? Red and yellow make orange. And what does blue and red make? It makes purple. In a minute, I'm going to ask you what all three colours make. So we are mixing colours, aren't we? So you're going to need a palette or some pots to help you mix your paints today because you are going to be mixing paints again today. Now have a little think. What do all of those three colours make together? What does red, blue, and yellow make if you mix them all together. Can you remember? It makes brown. Well done. Good memory, everybody. Okay, today we're going to be learning about a special artist, a famous artist called Mark Rothko. And here he is here standing in front of one of his paintings. Here's Mark Rothko. Now, Mark Rothko was a painter who loved mixing colours. I wonder if you like mixing colours now you've had a practice. Now Mark Rothko wasn't born in our country, he was born in Russia in 1903 which was over a hundred years ago and he moved to America when he was 10. Now like Pierre Mondrian his first paintings were of things he could see like buildings and people and landscapes and then later, just like Pierre, he decided that using colour was the best way to show how he was feeling. And he used to carefully mix colours painted in small blocks and lines on very big canvases. Now, this kind of painting that he did in blocks of colour was called a colour field painting. A colour field painting and that's what we're going to have a go at doing later today. His paintings were huge. They were so big. Shall we have a look at some? Okay. Oh, flicked through. Here we go. Here's a really big painting. It's huge. Can you see it looks taller than the man? The one I'm looking at has the colour green in and I really like this picture because it's got my favourite colour in and it's got different shades of that colour green. It's not just one type of green. He's mixed colours together to give different types of green and I really like that. Can you see the blocks of colour that is used? Let's have a look. He's got a little block up here which I think is yellow. Then he's got a big block of red. And then a few blocks of green, but different types of green. And then lastly down here, he's got a block of black. And it looks like underneath the whole painting, it looks like a pink colour, doesn't it, underneath. And then he's painted on top of it. I wonder if you like that picture. Let's have a look at some more. Here's another picture with, again, some blocks of colour. And this time we can see a yellow block, a little black block, a white block, and a pinky purpley block. And underneath it looks like an orange, doesn't it? And he's painted the blocks over the top. Do you like this picture? Yes? No? I wonder why you do or why you don't. Here's another painting that he did and he's used like a pinky white at the top, I think, and a green block 
and a red block. And can you see the colour that's underneath the blocks? I think it's orange. Can you see a little bit of orange poking out? Yeah. So we can see lines going across the page. Now, Mark Rothko drew lines across the page most of the time. He didn't really draw lines going down. They were mainly going across. Let's look at another picture. Here's another picture. What colours can we see in this picture? I can see black at the top. I can see like a white, but the white seemed to be mixed with blue because there's blue underneath and it's like the white has been mixed with the blue and it looks a little bit like cloud, doesn't it? I wonder how this painting makes you feel. I wonder how it makes you feel. So now we've looked at Mark Rothko's pictures. You're going to have a go today at doing a painting in the same style. So you're going to do a painting that looks similar to his paintings, but your painting might be different colours to the ones that he used. So we've looked at these three here, haven't we? I wonder what colours you would like to use today in your Mark Rothko picture. What you're going to need today is some paper. Now, you don't need to do your picture huge. You can just do it on a small sheet of paper or you can make it as big as you like. You're going to need some paints that have been mixed. You're going to need some water to wash your paintbrush. You're going to need some paintbrushes and then you're going to need some paper towels or some tissue to wipe your paintbrushes on. Because can you remember what we do when we paint? We swish our paintbrush. We wipe it and we blot it because it's very important to keep our paintbrush clean, isn't it? OK, so this is what I want you to do. You're going to make a colour field painting like Mark Rocco. That looks a little bit like this one that you can see here. We've got blocks of colour. So I want you to use, if we look up here at the top, I want you to use three colours. Just like in this painting, we've got one, two, three. And then they've put another colour round the edge. OK, so actually that would be four, wouldn't it? And I want you to use the secondary colours. So I want you to use orange, green and purple because those are the colours that you will be mixing today. I would like you to mix two colours to make orange two colours to make green and two colours to make purple. Now the colour that goes underneath is up to you. You can choose whatever colour you want to go underneath your blocks and I'm also going to allow you to use black and white because sometimes Mark Rothko used black lines to go across his painting to divide the blocks up so you can use black and white too. I want you also to paint every bit of your piece of paper. OK, I don't want any white left on your paper unless you've painted it white. OK, so remember, you are mixing two colours to make orange. You're mixing two colours to make green and you're mixing two colours to make purple. And you are going to use those colours to make a colour field painting like this now if you can't remember which two colors to make you can look at the beginning in the beginning of this video and it will show you what to do which colors to mix okay so have a lovely day everybody i hope you do well with your art now because it's quite a lot of art to do i'm going to give you two days to do this piece of art so you've got today to do your piece of art and i'm also going to give you Thursday to complete it because you might not finish it or you might not have enough time. But there is another activity for you to do on your Seesaw journal as well if you have time and you can do that on screen on your journal. It won't be anything to print off, it will be a little thing to do on the screen. Okay, so happy painting. Can't wait to see your Mark Rothko inspired paintings. Have a good day. Bye for now.